Hello folks and welcome to Tech TV. In today's episode, Santa's little helpers bring comfort to a cow that is tiptoeing when she walks. Hello folks, meet my next client, cow 97. She's so lame she can't put any weight on her front right foot and she can barely tiptoe. This is how she was walking before we got her into the crush. Hit the subscribe button and come on the journey with us while we bring this cow more comfort and hopefully bring her to a full recovery. So I want to take into this foot quite slowly. Really we could be dealing with anything here. All I can see really is a piece of dermatitis here up at the heel. So we could be dealing with multiple issues in this cow's foot. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, there's some little calves roaring as it's breakfast time. And they're really happy to see their breakfast coming. This hoof's actually pretty brittle, so it is. Um, we do have the start of a little separation but the heel here probably may be caused by this dermatitis. So cow 97's issues really seems to be in the outer claw here at the front. She's got dermatitis, some underrunning of the sole possibly. So if you can see here, there's a huge height difference between the outer claw here and the inner claw. I've sussed out the problem briefly with the knife, so I'm going to lower these and get some levels with the grinder. So with everything that's going on in this claw and before we get too into it, I am going to prepare the inner claw for a block here um, to rest the outer claw. Um, probably for a good four weeks I would say it'll probably take for that to heal. I know we haven't got into this yet but it's looking like it'll take around a month I would say to heal this. So I'll have the glue set in here. It only takes 90 seconds or so, but it'll get a good clear time while I'm debriding the rest of this other claw. So with the block fitted or resting mechanism or whatever you want to call it, so because that's what it's doing, it's a piece of wood, but it's allowing this here to rest. With that done now, it's start, time to start taking away these chunks of hoof, which must go and just, I want to bring your attention to something I did which I'm not very proud of. Some of you have probably already commented about it. These little nicks here, I'll just show you with the camera on it. These little nicks here, which I sometimes accidentally do, are really not intentional. But with an injured corium, it can be closer to the surface than usual. It's not an excuse for doing it, because I am as gentle as I can be. I don't want to keep the cow in the crush all day. But hopefully, overall, you've seen how she was walking at the beginning, and I really hope she'll forgive me for that when she feels true comfort and a proper recovery. So this dermatitis really seems to be the real cause of this here. There's like dirty, gooey water going out of that there. It's no, it's not pus or anything. This side wall is probably the toughest hoof out of everything. So being firm with it, but still being gentle. And this little, sometimes, you also comment sometimes about this little action whenever I come down off the toe, this little wobble here, really doesn't do the cow any harm at all. Her foot's well supported here. It's got the little table underneath it. We can't stretch or hurt anything on the cow. So it's basically no different to us handshaking someone else. I suppose in human terms, that's the best way I could put it. 
this here is the Corium here with the Dermatitis or Uncle Dermot living there. So this here needs to be removed down here. It's no wonder this cow was tiptoeing on this. The lesion is up here, so she was putting her toes on the ground, which is this bit here, to try and relieve this area from touching the ground at all. I'm starting to come level with this little area that I initially nicked, so I had to basically go down that low anyway, but I think whenever she has all this hoof removed with a nice clean bandage on, I think she'll be feeling like a hundred dollars. Also, there's a little bit of dermatitis here, so in time that would probably join up with this. This here is not loose horn at the moment, but that's not to say that it may not become loose horn. We'll we'll know it. We'll see in the recheck how that all fares out. But this here is all nice and soft around it. quite happy with how I have this piece here so I just need to get this bit the same way a lot of delicate work to do around that lesion before we get this bandage on but I know a lot of you is like a little shot of it just before we put the wrap on so here it is I have to make sure the salicylic acid is going to be nicely in and around this piece of dermatitis up around the heel as well as this bit down here so that's good contact with it all proper <laughs> now for the most important part of the trim for cow 97 let her out of the crush and see does she still have as much need to tiptoe Come on Gert, don't be afraid to step out on your new foot. Normally cows can't wait to get out of the crush, but cow 97 she's different. She wants to hang around and see what's happening. So cow 97 is definitely a very quiet and laid back girl, which didn't really mind being in the crush at all. She's not even trying to get away from me now, which makes a change. She is a little bit reluctant to put any weight Yes, Gert, talking about you. She is a little bit reluctant to put any weight on this here at all, as she's, she probably thinks it's going to be sore when she steps on it. So, she'll maybe stand around the front of the crush here for the next 20 minutes or so while I'm doing the next few cows, and we'll get a little shot of her. And hopefully, by that stage, the salicylic acid will be starting to desensitize the discomfort from that, and she'll realize that the block is keeping her weight off that little sore part, and she'll be feeling just fine. So that is cow 97 about 10 minutes after being trimmed so she's tiptoeing a little bit less but I'm really looking forward to the recheck where hopefully she'll not be tiptoeing at all but we will see you very soon for the second half. Hello folks and welcome back to this follow up trim and check up of cow 4129. She's the last cow today for me. The crush is dirty, there's probably dirt on my face which is probably all put in the comments below but we don't care about that. You're just watching this video to see is this cow still tiptoeing. Let's give you a quick little shot of her as I'm putting her into the crush. Well, it's a good start. A little bit less tiptoeing. So the last time we seen this little cow, she had a very, very sore outer claw. And I just can't fully remember exactly. There was definitely some hoof layers that we took off. There was some der dermatitis in it. And she could barely walk on it before we seen her. 
which was a little bit better afterwards, but I just wasn't 100% happy. She was tiptoeing still a little bit uncomfortably. So this is exactly three weeks later. She still has the glue left on her foot, the block. I couldn't really imagine the block having wore, off, wore away in around three weeks. So this here has, the, thankfully the glue has stayed on this here, but we are seeing a pretty decent recovery here. Um, it's a few weeks from I seen the footage. Definitely a lot of recovery and healing has taken place in this foot in just three weeks, which is really amazing. Well, I find it amazing anyway. So that there is all a nice new layer of hoof here, which has grown back since the last day. Uh, there was dermatitis in this, which had the potential to slow down recovery. I'm just gonna clean it off around here to check that there's no more dermatitis up there. A little bit of separation there at the heel, you would imagine, but it's all leading to a healthy sole. This here is still a little bit soft, but it's it's nicely formed over, so I'm gonna leave this cow this bit of glue here to walk around to allow this here to strengthen up. The bond this glue has with the hoof really does hang on to the very bitter end to allow recoveries like these to take place. And if I just show you this angle across here now, there's a little bit of glue. I just shaped it down at the toe, so she's gonna be walking at a nicer angle. So she's got this little bit of glue here, which is just gonna be enough. When you look across here, it's just keeping the weight of this area here, which is, it, it has healed, but it just needs to gain a little bit of strength. From memory, the last day when I opened the crush, this little cow didn't wanna leave. Oh, she does wanna leave today. This little girl was pretty quiet the last time we let her out of the crush as well. I think she's just so thankful. But she's putting full weight on that front right foot, which is just what we wanted. The last day she was tiptoeing. So, as you can see there, she's walking and bearing weight. Just lovely on all four feet. I think she's quite happy to head off to the milking parlor. Folks, thanks for tuning in to this little recovery video. A happy successful ending for cow, 4129. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all on the next one. A great recovery that was. Santa's helpers are very busy. Christmas is just days away. So we must go on to the next job. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.